Good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. I was laughing at that picture last night because it looked like Bilbo was biting. Oh, biting. Is it, was it Adam that he was? Yeah. 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 Um, no, he was just, yeah. he'll, he'll move around and sometimes he does, but, um, we figure he's grumpy. We think he's molting, oh. but I had him out earlier and he was biting a little bit, but I, I'm, I've been trying to repeat over and over. Bilbo loves Adam. Bilbo loves Adam and he just sits there and oh. listens. And yeah, so hopefully he'll. Eventually he'll to... say it. I'm sure yeah. all of a sudden one day loud and clear, he'll probably say it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But he, um, he bit Adam yesterday and actually drew some blood. So yeah, that happens sometimes. Oh, that little stinker. Yep. Yep. It's like wow. Brett. So I know. yeah, he's a cutie. He is cute. He probably and, doesn't uh, realize that it hurts, you know? Yeah. Well, and sometimes they'll play, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And I think he gets, yeah. But sometimes it's like, there's really some force in that beak, you know? So, and then I, I was going to take a picture of him last night. He slept in his tent last night. He didn't go over by the rope thing. As a matter of fact, he's, he's over by the tent right now. So just kind of sitting there. He was really vocal earlier. So I don't know if he's going <laughs> to say anything or not. Oh. So I thought about putting him on my shoulder while, while during class, but I'm afraid he'll poop. Oh. Yeah. I hate being, or he likes to climb up on the top of my head and like pull my hairs out and stuff like that. So, and yeah. that drives me nuts because it's like, yeah, poop on my shirt, but not in my hair. Yeah. Yeah. You know? and good so, luck getting that out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, we'll go ahead and get started. Sounds good. All right. So let's start off with just some words. Here we go. Where, good, start, to, take, let, never, through, day, much, tell, wasn't, girl, feel, oh, your, call, talk, will, long, than, us, made, friend, New, open, need, first, which, people, that's, went, sure, seem, voice, very, felt, took, our, whole, laugh, man, okay, close, any, came, told, love, Watch anything, I'll through, put left work, guy hair next. All right, I have a was were drill here, and then I've got sentences. Um, so just remember the if anybody, for those of you that are watching the recorded class. Anything with was is final FS and anything with were is final RP. And then there's other, you know, phrases thrown in here as well. Here we go. I was, what were, they were, how were, we are, when was, you were, there is, she is, what was, he was, why is, they are, which was, you are, who was, that is, we were, he is, who is, she was, which were, there are, why was, it is, when were, what is, this is, who were, that was, which is, 
what are, this was, there were, when is, how was, that were, who are, it was, when are, that is, why were. And here are some sentences using those phrases. When you were, you can phrase that whole thing. When you were there, did you see Bob? You were going to stay home, true? You were one of the people in the car? You were not with him, is that right? We were with him at that time. We were going to go, but we were late. They were not at the store when we got there. While they were in the car, they were hit from behind. If it were not for you, we wouldn't be here today. If it were up to me, I think it would have been different. The kids that were with us never left our view. The cats that were in the yard got all wet when the rain started. They were running late. That was a good deal. That was a big storm. When was the last time you called him? I was on the call. She was in the meeting. It was a nice day. I was going to attend, but she was there. He was in the military. All right. Now I've got some Tangle Tamers. And these are medical. Here we go. Medical treatment, institutional care, ventricular arrhythmia, relieve symptoms, liver damage, watery eyes, cancer in remission, pharmaceuticals flourished, severe headache, neuroradiologist, dental plates, gaping wound, circumferential growth, adjoining vertebrae, thoracic portion, shoulder girdle, um, sacroiliac joints, myocardial infarction, drugs manufacture, symptom of syphilis, blotchy complexion, high blood pressure, mastectomy surgery, Cole's fracture, obviously broken, neuropsychologist, human anatomy, allergy medication, <clears throat> cushioning shocks, peculiar formation, sternoclavicular joints, rounded projections, sliding movements, and thickened edge. 
right, let's do some consonant compounds. What is obviously again? That's O-F-L. And then specifically, okay. do you do specifically S-P-E-F-L? I, I have to work on that. Okay. I, I probably right now just do S-P, you know, ick, and then come back for L-Y. But Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and it's specific. You could just do S-P-E-F-K. Yeah, that's, okay. that's how I do specific. Perfect. So, yeah. Perfect. All right. All I right. am perfect. Yes, you are perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right, consonant compounds that emphasize initial KR, initial PR, final VD. Here we go. The crew crossed the swollen creek. The crash created a problem. She crunched on the crumpet. The cruiser was crushed. The crepe paper was creased in the middle. Did you play cribbage at Chris's house? We prayed for an end to the pranks. The prefix precedes the noun. President Crowder put pressure on the press. The previous price levels were promoted by the store. The profit provided a proposal. Some prosecutors protested the decision. Amy deserved to be served. He carved the turkey. Al reserved the curved table near the door. Many have lived and loved. The Joneses waved goodbye and moved away last summer. The paved street caved in after the flooding. Nate shaved off his mustache. All right. Now I have some names and addresses for you. Here we go. Jennifer S. Rivenberg. R-I-V-E-N-B-U-R-G. 26, Mertza Lane, Henrietta, New York, 14567. Bob K. Wheeler, W-E-I-L-E-R, Bermudian Springs School District, Guidance Counselor, 110 Sam's Way, York Springs, Pennsylvania, 17372. Mr. William G. Perry, Sr., P-E-R-R-Y, Hendry School District, Clouston Sub Office, 475 East Oscola Avenue, Clewiston, Florida, 33440. Ms. Allison M. Supple, S-U-P-P-L-E, 19 Shady Lane, Bolton, Connecticut, 06040. Julie L. Cash, C-A-S-H, Route 3, Box 394, Stacy, Minnesota, 55409. Guidance Department, Raymore, 
public schools. Reorganized district number two. Peculiar, Missouri, 64078. Miguel T. Rodriguez, R-O-D-R-I-G-U-E-Z, 5659 Los Palos Circle, Buena Park, California, 90620. Julie A. Moore, M-O-O-R-E, P.O. Box 59, San Miguel, California, 93451. Career Center, Moore High School, P.O. Box 20, Moore, New Mexico, 87035. <coughs> All right. Now, I'm going to give you <coughs> some contractions. Here we go. That's, it's, whose, she's, he's, here's, theirs, where's, what's, let's, there, we're, your, I'd, you'd, he'd, she'd, we'd, they'd, I've, you've, we've, who've, they've, I'll, you'll, he'll, she'll, we'll, They'll, who'll, it'll, there, they've, they'll, aren't, doesn't, haven't, shouldn't, can't, couldn't, don't, wasn't, didn't, hadn't, isn't, weren't, Hasn't, wouldn't, won't. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a continuation from yesterday on the dress code. Okay. All right, here we go. Business casual dress code. This is a general overview of appropriate business casual attire. Items that are not appropriate for the office are listed too. Neither list is all inclusive and both are open to change. The list tells you what is generally acceptable as business casual attire and what is generally not acceptable as business casual attire. No dress code can cover all contingencies, so employees must exert a certain amount of judgment in their choice of clothing to wear for work. If you experience uncertainty about acceptable, professional, business, casual attire for work, please ask your supervisor. Slacks, pants, and suit pants. Slacks that are similar to dockers and other makers of cotton or synthetic 
material pants, wool pants, flannel pants, and nice looking dress synthetic pants are acceptable. In appropriate slacks or pants include jeans, sweatpants, exercise pants, Bermuda shorts, short shorts. That reminds me of that old, remember that? <laughs> there. Yes. Mm -hmm. We wear short shorts. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden that came, man, that was like in the 70s, right? Mm -hmm. 80s, mm -hmm. but I, but yeah. I, I, yeah, I think they, they brought it back too. Okay, wow. Shorts, bib overalls, leggings, and any spandex or other form-fitted pants, such as people wear for biking or running. Skirts, dresses, and skirted suits. Casual dresses and skirts and shirts that are split at or below the knee are acceptable. Dress and skirt length should be at a length at which you can sit comfortably in public. Short, tight skirts that ride halfway up the thigh are inappropriate for work. Many skirts, skorts, sundresses, beach dresses, and spaghetti strap dresses are inappropriate for the office. Shirts, tops, blouses, and jackets. Casual shirts, dress shirts, sweaters, tops, golf type shirts, and turtlenecks are acceptable attire for work. Most suit jackets or sport jackets are also acceptable attire for the office if they violate none of the listed guidelines. Inappropriate attire for work includes tank tops, midriff tops, shirts with potentially offensive words, terms, logos, pictures, cartoons, or slogans, halter tops, tops with bare shoulders, sweatshirts, and t-shirts, unless worn under another blouse, shirt, jacket, or dress. Shoes and footwear, conservative shoes, loafers, clogs, boots, flats, dress heels, and leather deck type shoes are acceptable for work. Wearing no stockings is acceptable in warm weather. Flashy athletic shoes, thongs, flip-flops, slippers are not acceptable in the office. Jewelry, makeup, perfume, and cologne should be in good taste with limited visible body piercings. Remember that some employees are allergic to the chemicals in perfumes and makeup. So wear these substances with restraint. Hats and head coverings. Hats are not appropriate in the office. Head covers that are required for religious purposes or to honor cultural tradition are allowed. Conclusion. If clothing fails to meet 
these standards as determined by the employee's supervisor, the employee will be asked not to wear the inappropriate item to work again. If the problem persists, the employee may be sent home to change clothes and will receive a verbal warning for the first offense. All other policies about personal time will, will apply. Progressive disciplinary action will be applied if dress code violations continue. All right. <coughs> Moving into literary. All right. Okay, so we're gonna do a continuation of our sheriff's report that we've been working on. Okay. All right, here we go. On Sunday, 10, 13, 2012, I was assigned to the sheriff's station as the watch commander, S76. I was wearing a class A sheriff's uniform and I was operating a sheriff's marked patrol vehicle. At approximately 3.31 p.m., sheriff's dispatch received a domestic violence call on Almond Road in Simi Valley from Connor Reed. Reed was reporting that his wife, the victim, was screaming at him because he wanted to leave and that she was saying she is going to call the cops and say he hit her. Reed also reported he has warrants and was afraid of the false report. At approximately 3.38, the victim called the sheriff's dispatch. The victim was crying and saying, please hurry. Victim wanted to stay on the telephone line until a deputy arrived and she refused medical aid. Arrival contact. At approximately 3.46 p.m., I arrived on scene. Upon arrival, I met with the victim in the roadway outside the fence line of the residence. I could see Reed sitting on a tree stump in the front yard of the residence. Victim said Reed has an abuse warrant and he was crazy and flipping out. Reed was upset over her receiving a blocked call. Reed started started hitting her and took her dog by the throat. Victim tried to call 911, but Reed took her phone and hid it from her. Victim started yelling for help, hoping someone would hear her and call 911. So Reed called instead because he has two abuse warrants. Victim said Reed was ready to go. 
victim said her and Reed have been married since February. Victim wasn't sure how Reed hit her, possibly with a fist, but she felt something on her face, right cheek area, and the bruises on her arms were from Reed grabbing and hitting her. Victim also said Reed has choked and pushed her. Victim said today Reed was grabbing her. After speaking with the victim, I walked up and contacted Reed sitting on the tree stump in the front yard. Reed said he and the victim have been married for the past eight months. Reed said they were arguing over him wanting to leave. Reed said he was done with the relationship and the victim did not want him to leave. Every time Reed tried to leave her, she threatens to call the cops and say he was beating her. Reed said he didn't want to call because he has two warrants. Reed denied hitting the victim, nor has he touched her and has not been there for the last couple of days. I asked Reed how the victim got the bruises on her arms. Reed said he did not know and they were not from him. Reed said the victim had been drinking. Reed said he does not need her attacking or cornering him. Reed said he tries to walk away and she will start following him and screaming that he is beating her. Arrest. Reed was found to have a felony, $125,000, PC 273.5, warrant, and a felony, $100,000, PC 273.5, warrant, for his arrest. I placed Reed under arrest for his warrants and for a PC 273.5 spousal abuse investigation. I handcuffed Reed behind his back and I double locked the handcuffs. I had Reed sit in the back seat of my vehicle and I finished the investigation with the victim. Okay, there's more, but we're gonna stop there. What did you read that at? I started at 80 and worked my way to 100. Okay. How did it feel? Pretty good. Good. I, I'm sure that some of it is sloppy, but you know. That's awesome though, that if it felt good. Because I work my way up to 100. Usually when you um, you get in those things like, uh, I'm sure it, it has to do with like the, the warrant number or whatever, the PC, and then the bail or what, or the money amounts. Usually it's like, uh, you know, but I just kept going. So Good, good. Yeah, and that definitely throws, you know, a wrench in it and makes it a lot more difficult when you're dealing with numbers and you know different warrant numbers things like that especially when you're dealing with like the alphabet and then you mm -hmm. have to switch over to numbers and mm -hmm. yeah definitely yeah 
Yep. I, what I try to do is I figure like on Mondays, everybody's kind of rusty. So I try to start on, you know, I spend more time on the slower end of it. And then on Tuesdays, I try to really get right into 100 and give more of a push, you know? Right. So that's kind of my, my thinking on that. So, so I always try to bump it up on Tuesdays. So, and I kind of do that with the other speed too. You know, I, the first class I start at the lower end and then the second class I push on that higher end, you know, mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. get a little bit of each. Yeah. You're a good teacher. Oh, you're so sweet. You're a good student. Oh, I love it that you're here all the time with me. <laughs> and then, and there are like, I'm the only one. one. Oh. Are there, are there a oh. lot of people? Hi everyone. Yes. Bilbo is our bird. That's why we, yeah. He could be our mascot. Okay. He's, yeah, he's playing with his tent right now. He's being so quiet. Bilbo! <laughs> so are you talking to me? Anyway. I'm happy with my little tent here. <laughs> he's playing. Oh, he chirped. Cheers. What a silly bird. <laughs> <laughs> all right so um, i got some literary i'm sorry jury charge it's only one paragraph long and it's on insanity okay i'll read this at 80 here we go insanity will excuse somebody from the responsibility of a criminal act is defined in the law as being such a state of mind that a person therein is so far from being in contact with reality that he or she does not know the difference between right and wrong and he or she does not appreciate or know the nature or quality of his or her acts. If his or her mental condition is anything other than that or greater than that, as far as progressing towards the state of awareness or knowing right from wrong, he or she is not insane as far as the criminal law is concerned. In regards to insanity in the criminal law, any intention by the defendant in regards to being relieved of criminal responsibility by virtue of insanity is an affirmative defense. This means that the defendant must make out this contention by the preponderance of the evidence, not beyond a reasonable doubt, but by the preponderance or greater weight of the evidence. All right. So do some Q and A. Are we there already? Yes. Right. Let me get my little box here. My whiteboard box. All right, so we're going to start off with uh, this court case, a child's custody case. KUDZ? Yep. Okay. KUDZ for custody. That's it. All right, this poor girl. Feel bad for her. All right. We actually we have we've got two going on that are child um, 
neglect, you know, the one that's just that, wonderful. Yeah. The mom that made her kids pee in a pot so that she could take the urine and. So oh, yeah. Testing that's mom of the year there. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. Okay. Here we go. How many times did you go into your mom's room and witness her engaging in this type of behavior that's the only time did you ever see her in any other room of the house or any part of the house doing similar behavior no let the record reflect mrs johnson is back in the courtroom does the court wish to inquire maybe if it's something to do physically if she's able to continue are you okay she's okay did you ever ask your mom to please stop using drugs no now when you said you saw the pipe around three or four times did you actually pick up the pipe and touch it no did you ever smell the pipe or get a smell from the pipe no leah is everything you told us today the truth yes i have no further questions ms kareem can you estimate the time you might need just five or ten minutes all right proceed you said that your mother never hit you is that correct no you said she tried to hit you yes but did she ever hit you? No. Do you recall when the little children and you were removed from your mother the last time telling the social worker that your mom hit you and kicked you? what say it again did you tell the social worker that your mother hit you and kicked you yes why did you tell the social worker that because that was true because I wouldn't wash the dishes. You just got through saying that your mother didn't hit you. Yes, like when my mother grabbed me, she tried to kick me. Hit and kick are different things. Did she try to kick her or did she actually kick her? 
kicked me? Did she kick you? Did she hit you? No, she didn't hit me. She kicked me. All right. Do you recall telling the social worker that your mom hit you? No, I said she kicked me. Do you recall telling the social worker that your mom hit you? No. The first time you were removed from your mother in this case, you lived with your grandmother? No. Objection, Your Honor, relevance overruled. The other children lived with your grandmother, correct? Yes. And when you went back home with your mother, was your grandmother living in the house also? Yes. And was your grandmother also using drugs? Yes. And your aunt? My auntie Darlene? Yes. No. There were other people in the house also using drugs? My mom and her boyfriend? What about your aunt Candy? No, she never used drugs. Never in her life? Never. That's what she told you? That's what I know. You lived with her all of her life? Mostly. How old is she? She's 25. Did you tell the social worker that your Aunt Candy was using drugs in the house? No. Did you tell her your grandmother was? Yes. Did you actually see Lamont pee in a bottle? Yes. I'm sorry, I didn't hear the question. Did you actually see Lamont pee in a bottle? Yes. What happened to the bottle after he peed in it? She put the cap on it and she left to go to the doctor. Did you see her take it with her? Yes. Where did she put it? In her pocket. What was she wearing? I don't know. I don't remember. So you don't know if it was a pair of jeans, pants, blouse? I don't remember. And how many times did you see her do that? Actually see her put all the time. The urine in her pocket. All the time when she was going to go to the doctor. Now at the time that you were removed or just before you were removed from your mom this last time, you weren't getting along with her, were you? No. And you and your mom had discussed with the social worker having you live somewhere else, 
Is that correct? Your Honor, I'm going to object as to relevance and beyond the scope of direct. Overruled. I don't think there was an answer to the last question. Do you remember the last question? No. Do you, Ms. Kareen? Yes. Did you and your mother discuss with the social worker having you live somewhere other than your mother's because you weren't getting along? No, I have to tell her I didn't want to stay with my mother. Okay, did the social worker do anything about it? Yes. What did she do? Removed me to my auntie Lil Moss. But she didn't move you to your aunties until you made those allegations. Is that correct? Say again. She didn't remove you to your aunts. Yes. Until you made the allegations. Until I made the, yes. How long before this happened did you tell the social worker you needed to live away from your mother? Objection, Your Honor. Relevance. Overruled. I probably told her a couple times that I didn't want to stay with my mother that you didn't want to stay with your mother, that I didn't, that you wanted to stay with your mother? No, I didn't. And before any of the allegations were made, did she do anything about, no, removing you? No further questions. Just a few more. I need a moment. Leah, when your brother and sisters were hit by your mother, actually, when she would hit them with her slipper, would she do it over their clothes or underneath their clothes? Keenan, she would take down his diaper. But with the other two kids, Jesse and Lamont, she'd hit them sometimes with their clothes on, sometimes with no clothes on. And you said after they would get hit that they would cry? Uh-huh. Did they cry because they were hurt or because they were upset? that she was angry. I don't know. Objection, Your Honor. Calls for speculation. Move to strike the answer. Sustained. Answer stricken. Granted. Have you ever been hit with the slipper before? No. Not ever? No, I would run. Have you seen a pot in the bathroom when you were living at home during the last time? A pipe? No, a pot, like a pan. For the babies? Any sort of pot or pan? Yes, to go pee in. What sort of pot or pan? have you seen in the bathroom? For the babies, a blue one, that's what they would pee in. And she would take the pee. Was this there for, for the kids to use in the bathroom? Like the little ones, Keenan. So he would pee in the pot 
and she would take the pee to the doctor. Okay, was there ever a red pot? I don't remember. It was blue. Did your mother ever have any of the kids pee into that pot? Yes. For her to take the urine? Yes. How many times did you see your mother ask them to pee in the pot? All the time. Would she normally do it that way? Or would she normally use the jar? The same thing for like the doctor that they make you pee in for the doctor, like that. I'm confused. Did she have the kids pee directly into the jar? Or did she have them pee into the pot? Sometimes the pot. Then she'd pour it? She'd pour it, yes. Would she ever have them pee directly into the jar? You mean pour it right into the jar? No, would she ever have the kids pee right into the jar? No. So it was always in the pot. And then she would transfer it into the jar? Yes. Okay, no further questions. I need a moment to contemplate, counsel. If not, I'm not sure if I have a question or not. Does the court want to take a brief recess? No, I just need a moment one or two at the most, okay? When you saw Lamont and Jesse pee in the pot, were you in the bathroom at the same time? I would be in front of the door. Was the door opened or closed? Open. Were you looking and watching? Yes. Was your mom in there also? Yes. Did your mom help the children wipe with toilet paper? Yes. Was that before or after or both times when the children urinated? What you mean? Did she help them wipe themselves after they urinated? Yes. Did she help them wipe before they urinated? No, after. After only. Was Lamont still in the bathroom when you saw your mother pour the pee into the jar? No, he had leave, go outside. And how about Jessie? She probably sit there with you, I don't remember and you were standing at the door all of these times? Not all of them. Where were you on all of the times? Let's start with Lamont. The first time you saw Lamont, where were you? In front of the door. The first time? Uh-huh. And the second time? The second time I probably like passed by and saw it, but I wasn't exactly right there. And the third time, same thing, same as which. The second one, pass by the door? Yes. You said there were three or four times? Uh-huh. Do you recall a fourth time specifically? What you mean? 
Well, you said you saw Lamont pee for your mother three or four times. You just described three times. Was there a fourth time that you specifically remember? Yes. Okay. And it was like the first time you were in front of the same door? Yes. And the second and third times you were passing by the door. So there may have been a fourth time. You just don't recall for sure. Yes. And now, Jesse, the first time, were you there? Yes, in there. And the second time, I was probably using the bathroom while she was in there. Now you say probably, do you know for sure? Yes. So why do you say probably? Because I probably, I'm probably not for sure. Okay, but you think you feel that you were using the bathroom at the time Jesse was peeing, correct? Yes. Poor kid. Aren't drugs wonderful? I know. Horrible. Makes me think of a Seinfeld in a way. I, I mean, it's not sad. It's Elaine is testing positive for, for opium, and uh, Jay Peterman doesn't want to take her to um africa to meet the bushman because any fires are and everything well it's because she loves poppy seed muffins and poppy oh, seed no. chicken and all that so so he's gonna give her one more chance and she didn't realize that this chicken had poppy seed in it and jerry's mother is there so she's going she's going hang on elaine i need to go to the bathroom and she's going wait a minute mrs seinfeld i need your sample and so she has <laughs> She has Jerry's mother pee in the cup for him. Oh my gosh, all because of poppy seed. I have uh -huh. heard that that can mess up a test. I, I guess, I don't know. I would think that with, unless you eat a whole lot, you know, I don't know. I know but, when I um, got hired on at the school district in Oregon, they, when I had to go get drug tested, they told me that. They said, don't eat, if you eat poppy seeds, don't eat it before. Huh a few days before the test because you just don't want to chance it. And I thought, wow, because I do make poppy seed chicken. In fact, I uh -huh. have recipe, but yeah, I didn't think, I mean, they said probably wouldn't, you'd have to eat a lot, but still they like to tell yeah. people just don't. Oh, hey, them. why even bother? Yeah. You know, it's that's like you right. can do a few days without poppy seeds. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I don't know. It's just crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Poor kids. I know. Poor thing. All right. Um, well, we'll go ahead and do some read back and I'll read one at the first time at 100 and then 80 and then 60. Okay. All right. And this is going to be plaintiff. Okay. Here we go. And you're going to hear hospital, um, emergency room, unconscious, appearance, injuries, large bandage, shoulder, sutures, bruises, and that's about it. <laughs> okay, and then as far as like um, fr uh, phrases go, you're gonna hear at that time, I don't believe so, did you go, uh, were you able, W R U final B O. Uh, do you know? Did you feel other than? Did you see? Oh, and I can't remember. Okay. All right. Here we go. What did the doctor do for you? He gave me a shot for the pain I had. Did you go to sleep? I don't believe so. 
what do you next remember happening to you in the hospital? Then they wheeled me into the emergency room. Was some work done on your face at that time? Yes, sir. Were you unconscious when the work was done to your face? Yes, I was. Were you given another shot or was it the original shot that made you unconscious? Another shot. So you actually don't know what was done to you in the emergency room? No. When was the first time you were actually able to observe your appearance? Probably the next day. Did you sleep through that whole night? To the best of my knowledge, and the next day you woke up and you were in the hospital? Yes. Now at that time, were you able to observe what your injuries were? Well, I had a large bandage and I was able to feel sutures on my face. Do you know how many sutures? were placed in your upper lip? No, I do not. Did you feel or observe any other injury other than the pain that you had by your lip? Well, I had a shoulder. It hurt on my left shoulder and I was bruised. Did you see any bruises? I don't, I can't remember for sure. Did you have any bandages on any other part of your body? No. All right, so we'll do it again at 80. Here we go. What did the doctor do for you? He gave me a shot for the pain I had. Did you go to sleep? I don't believe so. What do you next remember happening to you in the hospital? Then they wheeled me into the emergency room. Was some work done on your face at that time? Yes, sir. Were you unconscious when the work was done to your face? Yes, I was. Were you given another shot? Or was it the original shot that made you unconscious? another shot. So you actually don't know what was done to you in the emergency room. No. When was the first time you were actually able to observe your appearance? Probably the next day. Did you sleep through that whole night? to the best of my knowledge. And the next day you woke up and you were in the hospital? Yes. Now at that time, were you able to observe what your injuries were? Well, I had a large bandage and I was able to feel sutures on my face. Do you know how many sutures were placed in your 
upper lip? No, I do not. Did you feel or observe any other injury other than the pain that you had by your lip? Well, I had a shoulder. It hurt on my left shoulder and I was bruised. Did you see any bruises? I don't. I can't remember for sure. Did you have any bandages on any other part of your body? No. All right, so we'll do it one last time. At 60, here we go. What did the doctor do for you. He gave me a shot for the pain I had. Did you go to sleep? I don't believe so. What do you Next, remember happening to you in the hospital. Then they wheeled me into the emergency room. Was some work done on your face at that time? Yes, sir. Were you unconscious when the work was done to your face? Yes, I was. Were you given another shot or was it the original shot that made you unconscious? another shot. So you actually don't know what was done to you in the emergency room. No. When was the first time you were actually able to observe your appearance? Probably the next day. Did you sleep through that whole night? To the best of my knowledge. And the next day you woke up and you were in the hospital? Yes. Now, at that time, were you able to observe what your injuries were? Well, I had a large bandage and I was able to feel sutures on my face. Do you know how many sutures were placed in your upper lip? No, I do not. Did you feel or observe any other injury other than the pain that you had by your lip. Well, I had a shoulder. It hurt on my left shoulder and I was bruised. Did you see any bruises? 
I don't, I can't remember for sure. Did you have any bandages on any other part of your body? No. <clears throat> wow, that last time seemed very slow. Good. I, I was able to scratch my face. Oh, good. <laughs> that's a good sign. Oh, good. Yeah, you want it. That's good. That just means you're beyond that. Definitely. Yeah, that was right on at 60. Now, which one are you going to read back? Pro probably the 60. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. those are, are the good ones. So can I just do the whole thing? Sure. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Mr. Snoo, question. What did the doctor do for you? Answer. He gave me a shot for the pain I had. Question. Did you go to sleep? Answer. I don't, I don't believe so. Question, what do you next remember happening to you in the hospital? Answer, then they wheeled me into the emergency room. Question, was any work done on your face at that time? Do you have, was some? Was some work done? Yes. Okay. What did I say? Was any? Oh, I put any, huh? I put, yeah, SPH. Good. Was some work done on your face at that time? Answer. Yes, sir. Question. Were you in, were you unconscious um, when the work was done to your face? Answer. Yes, I was. Question. Were you given another shot or was it the original shot that made you unconscious? Answer, another shot. Question, so you actually don't know what was done to you in the emergency room? Answer, no. Question, what was the first what was the first um, you? Do you have when was? Yes. Good. When was the first? Is there a you there or did I actually just hit a you? Do you have time? When was yeah, the I've, time? Yeah. Oh, see, I have a you in between that. I must have. Uh, struck the key. Uh, uh, when was the first time you were yep. actually able to observe your appearance? Answer, probably um, I have E.T. Probably something next day. Huh. Yeah. So it's probably the next day. Oh, I hit the E too. Okay. Okay. My goodness. Okay. Uh, probably the next day. Do you, did you sleep there that whole night? Should it be there or through? Through. Did you sleep oh. through that? Okay. I don't have the U. I was going to say that sounds weird. Okay. Answer. To the best of my knowledge, question, and the next day you woke up and you were in the hospital, answer, yes, question, um, now at that time where 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 you were 
so it's were you able do you have w r oh you know what i put rp i put w r u r p instead of bl okay, okay. that's why see i was trying to phrase it that's were you okay. able to observe what your injuries were answer well i had a large bandage and i was able to feel sutures on my face question do you know how many sutures were um, placed in your upper lip answer no i no is it should be no i don't no i do not oh no i do not i was gonna say i don't have a t okay um Question, did you feel or observe any other injury other than the pain that you had by your lip? Answer, well, I had a shoulder pause, dash, dash. Um, the... It hurt on my left shoulder, and um, it and I was bruised. Question: Did you see any bruises? Answer: I don't. I don't remember for sure. Okay, so do you? So I don't, and then do you have? Yeah. I can't remember for sure. Yes. Oh, good, good. That's okay. Good. Well, it looks like my finger shadowed the l but yeah i have can't remember for sure okay um question did you have any bandages on any other part of your body answer no awesome job thank you that's awesome great job it's because you're such a good teacher oh. I don't know about that, but thank I you. do. You thank taught me theory. Yeah. Of course, of course, I'm still only here in hundreds. Sorry, I'm going to beat myself up a little bit. No. <laughs> I know you're writing faster than that. You're just a perfectionist. I don't know. I, you know what? I, I did a, um, like the first 120 module yesterday in, in Platinum Steno. Cheryl did it. Cheryl, right? Yes. And I got to, I don't know, I, I just got to a point where I thought, okay, I've had it for today. And so I was, I was doing okay up to, I want to say it was in Q&A. She does her Q&A different than, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, and everybody is a get it. different. Yeah. You know, every style is different. Some people like put words together to phrase and other people don't. So I know everybody is different. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to sit down and, and do some of it. Good. So, yeah. Good. Yeah, start. Now, can you go to the mid-speeds tonight? Because I think that, that would, that's a huge. I'll try. Okay. I know. I know. I know that's what I need to do. Yes, pushing. So, yeah. Back going to just make the hundred seem really slow i'll try i haven't uh i haven't figured out dinner yet okay. for tonight so okay and actually adam has to be to work at seven so i don't know but i don't know what i'm gonna make any suggestions <laughs> i haven't taken anything out of the freezer i can um send you that poppy seed recipe <laughs> So yeah, you well, you know what? That'd be fine because I'm not going to be drug tested or anything. You Do you have poppy seeds on you? No. Oh. No. I was going to say poppy I never seed, have. Uh, sour cream, let's see, cream of mushroom soup. Mm. No. Um, okay. Maybe I'll just do tacos. I don't know. Yeah, it's, that's It's always, Tuesday. So. There you go. Taco. Yeah. I love tacos. That's always a hit you know i know I all right know. well i'm i gotta run i have a um okay. eye appointment so okay you have a i hope i get to see you tonight yeah i'm gonna try and make it okay
if if anything for at least part of it yes so yes okay all right all right okay joe i'll talk to you later Bye. bye